Awesome. With having two adults in the room to teach in that co-teaching model, um, I'm able to really get students engaged with small group learning a lot more frequently than I, I have been in the past. And so that's a huge benefit that I see for small group work. So we're going to do three different kinds of approaches today for spelling. And these are all things you've done before, but I'm just going to do a quick review so you can remember how to use them, OK? One of the things that you could choose to use, and this will be up to you based on what you like, is the laptop keyboard. And so you can put your fingers right on there on the keys and type out your spelling words. In response to student requests for additional spelling practice, the specialist is offering hands-on options. So count out six cups. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you always need the cup with the arrow on it, right? You're going to put that on the end, and then you're going to spin the cups so that they line up to spell winter. So I've got the W first, and there's my I. And remember that we've got vowels in different colors. So either green or red, you'll find the vowels. And that'll make it a little easier for you to find them quickly. Then I've got to find the N. And then the third option you can have as you know, Mrs. Blair brought all of these wonderful blocks in. And some of you have used these before. And on the blocks, she's got some combinations and some singles. When we have a small group, it can be easier sometimes to allow students to choose the adaptations that work for them. Kids know a lot about what works best for them as learners. And so in a small group, a teacher might offer two or three variations for a way to approach the learning. The students choose, and then the teacher monitors to make sure that they've made good choices.